Hello and welcome to this video on convergence of a series. We're going to use the limit comparison test to determine whether a series converges or diverges. The series that we have at hand is the summation from 1 to infinity of 2n squared plus 3n divided by the square root of 1 plus n to the 5. Now notice that when n is large, we have that 2n squared plus 3n is essentially 2n squared. Because n is a lot smaller than n squared when n is huge. And Similarly, 1 plus n to the 5 is essentially n to the 5. Then we can say that we have roughly, we have 2n squared divided by n to the 5, which gives us 2n squared divided by n to the 5 halves. And we end up with 2 divided by n to the 1 half because 5 halves minus 2 gives us 1 half. Because we have this expression, our series is roughly, roughly behaves like the series with 2 over n to the 1 half. What we suspect is that we have divergence because we get a P series with P equals 1 half. when we work with 2 over n to the 1 half. So we suspect that we have divergence. And this process of saying that our nth term is roughly the same as 2 over n to the 1 half is justified by using the limit comparison test. So notice that the limit as n goes to infinity of our term 2n squared plus 3n over 1 plus n of the 5 over 2 for n of the 1 half is actually 1. This limit can be found by playing with powers of n. We're not going to do that in this video, but if you have questions, um, we can we can cover your questions um saying in comments and 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 such so this this number is actually a number that is strictly positive it is finite then the limit comparison test tells us that both our series and the series that we get when we take this as the nth term converge, or both of them diverge. And because the series with 2 over n of the 1 half diverges, because that's a, a p series with p equals 1 half, then we can say that our series diverges. This is my half diverges because the series that we have here diverges. Okay. So the limit comparison test tells us that if our nth term is positive and behaves roughly like a term that gives a series that is divergent, then we get something divergent. And that if our nth term is positive and roughly behaves like something that is positive and gives a convergent series, then our series converges. 
because we have that the summation of two over n to the one half diverges, because that's a p series with p equals one half and one half is less than one, then our series diverges. Right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.